How do? My name is Andrew Hancock and I am a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with VMware since their birth in 1998. So that's been a quarter of a century now. I've been working with the VMware product catalog. Some of my close friends say, if you cut Andy in half, it reads VMware like a stick of rock from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I have now written over 130 articles and recorded over 30 hours of VMware vSphere 7 and 8 videos for Experts Exchange and received 40 Expert Exchange awards over the last 11 years working with the Expert Exchange community. I am currently the overall number one point earner in the Hall of Fame. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert program since 2011 and I'm currently a VMware vExpert Pro for the last four years. Hello and welcome to another episode of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. But this is going to be another shorty. This is going to take no longer than five minutes. So here we are in the EE cluster. <coughs> Excuse me, our EE cluster. And I wanted to show you if our, I did a video previously on how to create a VMware vSphere distributed switch or VDS uh, for our vSAN cluster using Intel Optane technology. And one of the things I actually struggled with uh, was arranging the uplinks. And it was only actually when I reviewed the video and I played it back that I spotted what I should have actually have done. So I'm going to show you in this video very, very quickly. Um, so if we actually go to our networking, if we actually go to our distributed switch, and if I actually basically select the management network and I right click and I edit the settings, if I have a little look at teaming and failover, and what you can do, and this is what I should have done, is if you just click the unused uplink and move up, it moves them up all at the same time rather than doing them all individually. So, and I'm just going to click cancel. So again, if I just choose the vMotion VDS, our port group, and if I click edit settings, and I'm going to click teaming and failover, and again, select all the unused uplinks, move them up all together and move them down all together rather than before you actually saw me struggling picking them all individually and moving them up and down etc so that's it i told you it's gonna be a quick one anyway so come back more come back more come back for more of these shorties and um i'll see you soon goodbye